Hello, how's it going? My name's Andrew, product specialist here at Wilkins Automotive, and I'd like to thank you for considering us in your next vehicle purchase. Wilkins has been serving the greater Baltimore area since 1949, and we take pride in all of our vehicles and making long-lasting relationships with all of our customers. So, today, I personally want to show you the all-new 2016 GMC Acadia SLT1. So, let's take a look. The all-new 2016 GMC Acadia is powered by a 3.6-liter V6 engine that produces 281 horsepower and 266 foot-pounds of torque. This is also paired with a 6-speed automatic and shiftable transmission that boasts fuel mileage 40 Acadia to up to 20 mpg in the city and 24 on the highway. This also comes with an automatic rear lift gate. All we need to do is press the button in from underneath here and it automatically comes up for you. And there's a pretty decent amount of space in the back seat. We can also fold down these back seats with these levers. There's a lever on this side and on the back of that seat on the other side. So all we need to do is pull this and then push the seat down. And there's your storage room right there. And I just pulled this out too. I just wanted to show you. And here is a car jack. That way if you need to uh, change the tire, you can use that car jack that's already provided in the vehicle. And underneath, of course, is your spare tire. Not only does it have this, but there's a, uh, another compartment sitting right underneath here too. So we can just lift that up and store some stuff down there too. And with this button here, we just press that and it comes all the way down for us. This Acadia also features the headlights with the LED strip, fog lights, and turn signals on each side mirror as well. Five adults can fit comfortably in the back seat on low bolstered, soft touch leather seats. The middle row comes equipped with the armrests, and these seats can also fold down and move. Um, there's a little lever on the, each side of the chair. We can pull these seats forward, we can push them back too. And um, we can fold these seats down by taking this lever right here and pulling this forward. And it just drops right down like that. And of course, on the back of the seats, if you want to put a car seat in, these do have latches sitting right on the back of the seat, so you can take the latch and hook it right in there too. The driver's seat is also electric and it also supports lumbar support and memory seats. Right on the door here you can set the memory seat by holding one or two for which driver you want to set. If you hear that beep twice, that means it's set for that position that you set the chair in. As you see the driver's seat is very spacious and practical. You have your well placed mirrors and a gauge system which is also well lit to provide ample visibility during daytime and nighttime driving. On your steering wheel on the right side. We can control our radio, volume controls right below that, station controls right here, and you can also control your voice command right here with this button. This is also your Bluetooth enhanced recalling button right here too. On the left side of the steering wheel are your cruise control buttons. This does have automatic daytime running headlights, which is what it's on right now. And your 7 inch LCD touchscreen display gives you control over just about anything in a car. Whether it's your radio, navigation, your phone paired to the Bluetooth, or whatever else settings you'd like to see, or information you'd like to look at. And this screen also comes with a backup camera. So, when we put it in reverse, it automatically switches to the backup camera. And this also has a uh, suggested path line, that way when you turn the steering wheel, the path line turns with the steering wheel. That way you have a better depiction on which way you're going in reverse. And like I said before, this is a shiftable transmission. So. When we put it in low drive mode, we can shift the gears ourselves by pressing plus and minus to shift up and to shift down. And when you're in gear, if you look up here, right there is where you can see which gear you're in. So if I hit plus, it'll go up to two. And then we can go to gear three, four, five, and six. Below that are all of your AC controls. Hazard light sitting right in the middle there. And you do have two cup holders in the middle as well. And we can also recline the armrest right here. Underneath that is a coin tray. We can actually lift this up and inside there's a pretty good amount of room in here too. There's a 12 volt outlet sitting down there so you can recharge phones and whatnot. And if we go ahead and close this and pull this forward, raise this up, there's another compartment sitting right here as well. And right on the top here, is a compartment that you can store stuff in here too. The driver and passenger seats are also heated. Controls for that are sitting right underneath all the AC buttons. This is the passenger side right here. Of course you can have the back heated and also the back and the seat heated as well for both seats. The driver side is on this side too. There's a USB port sitting right underneath here and another 12 volt outlet sitting here too. 
This Acadia also comes equipped with two sunroofs. The front one is the only one that opens. The controls for that is right here. So it just goes back and forth. Well, I do hope you enjoyed that walkthrough. Thank you for watching and thank you again for considering us in your next vehicle purchase. If you want to come in and take a look at the Acadia or schedule your own test drive, you're more than welcome to stop by our showroom. Or you can call us at 410-768-1700. We're open on Mondays through Fridays from 9 to 9 and on Saturdays from 9 to 6. So, once again, thank you for watching and I do hope to see you soon. Have a great day.